Uh, hey YouTube, um, I've been doing a lot of running lately, like a real um, long distance short runs, maybe, um, around an hour, 45 minutes or two hours in the park and I've been listening to um, books on my MP3 player and I've read uh, 1984 a few times before but um, I decided to listen to it and I was like shocked at how how prophetic it is. I mean, I've only you know gone through the first couple of chapters so far. But it reminds me so much of how life is now, or how I could see things in the in the short, um, in in the near future. You know, for example, like he was saying that, you know, the telescreen was watching you all the time, and the best way to uh, the way that you were expected to react to it was to have like a sort of a, a stoic happiness, like you couldn't show your emotions or your feelings. You know, and he always felt like he was being watched, like the woman with the the scarlet sash was, you know, pierced into his soul and uh, O'Brien was watching him and he felt like everybody knew uh, what was going on with him. And I mean, that, that's how it is. I mean, definitely I feel like that in Mexico City or when I was in the States as well working. I mean, if, I felt like, you know, you can't share your opinion with anybody really what you really think. I mean, sort of like one of the reasons why I started making YouTube videos, it seems like Nobody's willing to think outside of the box, and if you express any kind of, you know, abnormal opinions or emotions, you'll just be judged and, and gossiped about. That's how I feel anyways. And, uh, you know, then he was talking about how he was watching the, uh, in the rally there, the, there are some refugees and the helicopter was executing them, shooting them, and, uh, you know, that was on the ocean. I mean, it totally seems like uh, what's going on in Europe right now. I mean, right now they're accepting them. But, I mean, it's going to get worse and worse, so there's going to be more and more refugees. And, I mean, eventually they're going to take uh, drastic measures. You know, not only refugees from war, but there's going to be a lot of climate refugees. I was reading an article, and they were saying that a uh, in Latin America, and Mexico will be pretty much one of the most affected countries in the world, that they're expecting by 2050 there's going to be 100 million uh, climate refugees, basically all of Mexico, Central America, Venezuela is going to turn into uninhabitable uh, desert. You know, I mean, I don't think, uh, and well, in the southwest of the United States as well, and I don't think Canada and uh, Michigan and, and all that are going to just willingly accept all those people. I, I'm sorry, you know, I mean, it's just human nature. They'll accept a few right now, but then eventually it's going to reach a limit and people are just going to decide it's like, it's me or you, you know. Uh, anyways... Like I said, uh, it's a very prophetic book. I mean, I can totally see that, you know, and there's just so much propaganda right now. I mean, it's so hard to get the truth out of anybody. People, the news, I mean, it's all, most of like what you hear, it's all lies, you know. I wish, you know, so, somebody could just tell the truth. and But it seems like people don't even want to accept the truth. I don't know. Anybody read 1984? I mean, do you see any parallels to what's going on now.